Okay, so I'm just setting up my daughter's laptop, uh, which she's getting for Christmas. Uh, so I can't upload this until after Christmas because she might see the video. Uh, basically, this is the first laptop that I've ever bought that's got Windows 10 S. Uh, and S mode is basically uh, a more lightweight version of Windows 10. It's designed to be more secure because you can't just install anything off the internet. You have to get everything through the Windows Store. Uh, and because of that, it's more very good for education and business and things like that where people aren't supposed to be installing all sorts of things on it. But my daughter's fairly responsible. She can ask me questions if she gets into trouble. So I'm happy as well that this computer is powerful enough to run full-blown Windows 10, either Home or Pro. And I'll find out in a minute which version uh, it freely upgrades to. I say upgrade, it swaps to. Uh, because you could say that Windows 10 S, if it runs faster and lighter, uh, and it's more convenient for some people, then that's fine that they can stick with that. Where you're getting gonna find that it doesn't work for you is if you try and install a program that you've downloaded off the internet. And it can be a legitimate program from a decent source, uh, but uh, Windows 10 S won't allow you to do that. It'll only allow you to do programs from the Windows Store. So you need to decide whether it's for you. If it's a very young child, I would say definitely stick with Windows 10 S. Uh, if, you, if your child is more responsible uh, and the, the hardware is up to it, because the other thing is, there are a lot of Windows laptops with incredibly low specs, and I would definitely not recommend them running full version of Windows 10. But Windows 10 S, is likely to run better on them because it's more streamlined. So if you've got a computer with two gig of RAM, or if you've got a computer with a Celeron processor, or a lower Pentium processor, uh, or a basic AMD processor, then I would say probably stick with Windows 10 S unless you need to run programs that you can't find on the Windows Store. Then you can freely change to Windows 10 Home or Pro depending on which one is suited to your device. So this computer, has got a solid state drive, which means it runs very fast. If, a, if your computer's got an eMMC drive, it's usually a 64 gig or a 32 gig, it's gonna be a lot slower. Uh, also, Celeron processors are a lot slower as well, and two gig of RAM is a lot slower. So this is a four gig of RAM. It's an AMD uh, Ryzen 3 3200U, which is a respectable processor for a laptop, even though it was only 260 pounds. It's got four gig of RAM uh, and an SSD, so it's, I'm confident that it's, that it's more than fast enough to run Windows 10 uh, full version. And I know that because this Lenovo, which you can't see, oh, you can have I do that, uh, is my wife's computer. And there's loads of videos I've uploaded on that uh, showing it being very capable, running all sorts of programs. And it's over two years old and it still feels lovely and snappy. So it's a great computer. Okay, so we're on the, on the Windows 10 store now. So let's just do a search and see if I can find something purposefully that's not on there. I don't know if Audacity is. There you go. So Audacity, which is a, a free to use, very, very good audio editing piece of software, isn't available. Uh, there are manuals and various different things. And there's obviously this is supposed to be uh, an editor that you can use on Windows 10 S, but I want to use one that uh, I need to download. So if I do a search for Audacity uh, and go to download and Windows, there you go. So I've got a zip file here. So let's download this. And let's just hit run and see what happens. So it's trying to unpack it or unzip it as we're watching. I haven't put anything on this computer. I've just logged in with my Microsoft account. There you go. So for security and performance, Windows 10 in S mode runs Microsoft verified apps. Uh, and this is, just like an iPhone where you have to get your apps from the App Store, uh, it's the same thing that Microsoft are trying with Windows. Uh, and so that's how I can, I can uh, try and find apps, but I can't get Audacity. And I'm used to using Audacity, it's not my computer, but say my daughter wanted a program that wasn't on the Windows Store, uh, and that's a perfect example. So what we'll do now is show you how you can change your computer into window, full-blown Windows. So go to system. So we're right clicking uh, or tapping with two fingers on the Windows symbol and then that will give you this little sub menu. Click on system and if we scroll down it tells me the spec AMD Ryzen 3 3200 which is good to know because that's what I wanted and there we see Windows 10 home in S mode. Change product key or switch to Windows 10 Pro. 
So I'm going to click on that and it says switch to Windows 10 Home it says. So weirdly I tried it on another computer uh, in a store and it came up with Pro as an option. So this is Windows 10 Home which is absolutely fine. That's a full version of Windows. So it now says switch out of S mode. Windows 10 gives you the freedom to choose the mode of Windows that fits the way you work and live. Uh, now there isn't, they're supposed to uh, give you an option to switch between the two, but at the moment uh, of what I read, you can't switch back to Windows 10 S. Um, possibly if you'd restore, restore the device you could, but, uh, but at this stage it doesn't look like you can switch back. So I have a Windows 10 S mode switch product key. Oh. So if I hit get, So this is showing me the apps that I can use. And here it says after, you can have things like BitLocker, Remote Desktop, Hyper-V, Private Catalog, Join Azure, Join a Domain. So it gives you some more features, but also more what I'm looking for is to, uh, it's uh, interesting that it doesn't allow Remote Desktop as well. So that's obviously uh, another way that it's gonna be more secure by uh, being in Windows 10 S mode. So I'm not, saying there's anything wrong with Windows 10 S mode, but for me, for a computer that is more than capable of running the full version of Windows, it's just if my daughter gets to a stage where there's something she wants to install, wants to use, and then I've got to change it through, I would rather do it now rather than later. So, where do I go? What do I have to do? Well, it just says install there, that switch out of S mode. Uh, so Windows 10 S, well, Windows 10 gives you the freedom to choose the mode of Windows that fits the way you work and live. If performance, security, and peace of mind are your top priority, stick with Windows 10 in S mode. So this is what they're saying. Performance, security, and peace of mind are the big things. Uh, every app you install from the Microsoft Store has been verified by Microsoft. What more options? You can switch out of S mode to install apps. So let's just hit install, and let's see how long this takes. Yes, let's go. I've got no files to save. So it's uh, it's 1.15 now, pretty much. 1.14, 1.15. So you're running Windows 10 S mode, switch and you're all set. Please tell us why you switched out of S mode. Uh, I can't run the apps I want. That is basically why it is. What are the other options you could give? I can't change the way I search the internet in S mode. Yeah, because uh, the Chrome browser is not available, I think, in Windows 10 S. I haven't checked that, but I know that was the case before. S mode is not suitable for my work or school. So you might find that someone wants to install a particular piece of uh, software that you that you can't use in S mode. Drivers are not available. So older programs or older hardware you might find aren't going to work uh, in Windows 10 S mode. So I'm just going to put Audacity. Let's just do that. Uh, you may contact me. Oh, why not? Hit submit. Thank you for your feedback. Continue using Feedback Hub. So it looks like, well, I can just close that one down now. You don't have to give an answer, I'm sure. So, is it happening? You're running Windows 10 S mode. Switch and you're all set. So, if I go back. Oh, look, Windows 10 Home, Windows is activated. Is that it? Okay, I thought it would take a bit longer than that. So what I'm gonna do is and you can see that, that was, this is downloading stuff in the background and it still feels fine. Like if I just do a search, uh, bearing in mind this computer, I'm sure there's loads of updates that it needs to do because it's been turned on for the first time, uh, but it feels really nice and snappy. Uh, the trackpad's really nice as well. So let's restart the computer and see what it says. was definitely less than two minutes that it did it. So it, it obviously had done it almost almost immediately. So it's almost like all the the, uh, the software's on there, uh, it's just kind of unlocking it. Right, so. As you can see, super quick to shut down and restart. So let's go back into system. And yeah, Windows 10 Home. Well, 
that's how quick it is. Okay, so let's quickly check what happens now if I try and install Audacity. Audacity for Windows. Do the same thing again. Windows installer. So you see, you could be doing this to a non-legitimate website uh, and installing some dodgy software. So that, that's the reason not to use ordinary Windows because it is free and open. So you can get yourself into more trouble if you don't know what you're doing. So I would actually still recommend this for people who, who really are uncomfortable about computers and, and don't really know what they're doing. They're going to be safer in S mode. And some people will never know the difference because they'll just go to the App Store to try and get things. Next, install. There you go. So now it's installing, uh, which is what you would expect it to do because this is running normal Windows. So hit finish, close that down. You can see that the program starts up itself and Audacity is there. Now I need to uninstall that now because this is my daughter's computer and she won't be doing audio editing at this stage. Uh, and you'll find that it's not going to be in, uh, so if I, if I right click here uh, and go to uh, programs, is there a programs here? They keep changing this. Device manager system, let's go system. And just type in programs there, add or remove programs. Oh, it does come up in here, but I think what it will do is it will, if I click on it and try to uninstall, I think it will take me to a different part. Oh no, it looks like it just does it from there. So hit yes. So now that's been uninstalled. And if I wanted to install and uninstall from the Windows 10 store, so this is where I've still got all the Windows 10 store. You don't lose anything uh, by, by switching. There you go. And say for instance, I wanted Minecraft, I could click on that. Uh, and it installs in a different way and it's and it's basically doing it through the Windows Store. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.